next question. Um, what was your childhood like? My childhood? My, chi my childhood was was fun. I was a very active child. I went to NIST International School, so we're all kind of rivals here. Um, and I grew up playing sports, studying, just I'm sure similar to what you guys go through on a day to day, you know, all this stuff I had to go through as well. Yeah, I would like to ask you, since you were raised in a mixed culture household, what, what is it like? Is it uh, like, has anyone perceived you differently because you're a Pete? Because you've been raised in a Thai Australian culture? In my household, not so much. You know, my parents have always pulled the good things from each of our cultures to kind of raise my brother and I. But if you're talking about seeing me differently. I was never Thai enough to be Thai, but I was never Australian enough to be Australian. So with that being the case, you kind of learn to adapt. You kind of learn to just embrace that being mixed race or coming from a mixed household is a culture on its own. So you went to NIST, right? Um, I did a bit of research and you were also the captain of your school sports team. So do you think that played a part in like shaping to who you are now? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, the good thing about having to be a leader at such a young age is you learn what works and what doesn't work. And throughout the years, you learn that at the end of the day, like being a good leader is all about listening, being able to listen to people, whether or not you agree with them or whether or not you can help. Essentially, it's all about having, ha having that ear for someone. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that one of the qualities of being a good leader is being a competent listener and also listening to others' opinions as well, although you may disagree with them, but I think it's very crucial to have that skill.